Next, we're gonna do the top seven red magic cards in the game. Red was a tougher color to do because it was underrepresented. So there's some really good red cards, including my favorite card, Lightning Bolt. But for the most part, it was unrepresented. So number seven, Goblin Lackey. Goblin Lackey was a very important part of the Legacy Goblin deck. Although the Legacy Goblin deck is not a tier one deck, or ever was. It's still a fun deck to play with and the po card is so powerful. You just have to assume that in the future there will be better goblins than there are today because there's not going to be worse goblins, right? And maybe one of those goblins becomes very powerful. Maybe it costs like a 10, a 10 red goblin lord of some type. Anyway, number six, Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide was not reprinted in Modern Masters, which is sad face, but Love the card. The card is aggro, pretty much defined, where it's like, I'm going to do two damage to you, haste, at haste, turn one, on the play, or on the draw, and you're going to get some land, maybe. Love the card. I love the random effect of the card, too. Number five, Splinter Twin. Splinter Twin is a very, very powerful card. It is a card that is dominating modern as of the time of this recording. It doesn't see legacy play though, and it was recently reprinted, which is definitely a plus. Number four, Blood Moon. So Blood Moon does see modern and legacy play, and maybe even vintage play. The card is bonkers crazy against some decks. That being said, it is not a main board deck main deck card. It's more of a sideboard card, very good against some decks. Now we get to the top three, which we, go we are going to start with Young Pyromancer. Young Pyromancer was a card I didn't initially expect to be good, but when you have Gitaxin Pro, when you have Lightning Bolt, when you have Gut Shot, getting a 1-1 one -one creature is insane with this card, and the card is only two. It costs two very fast, and it has decks built around the card itself. Number two, and I could have chose Pyroblast. I could, there was another one I could have chose, even like Active Volcano, I believe is one. This card is so played in Legacy. If you are red, you need to fight blue because blue is so strong in Legacy that you have to fight blue any way you can. This is the best way to fight blue. And a lot of times the only way you can fight blue, obviously it is a sideboard card, although pretty much every deck and legacy has blue in it so i guess you could main board it if you wanted to that brings me to number one number one again this is a card that i is the most played card and card in modern right now lightning bolt lightning bolt is very much i can talk about i can talk about it for a very long time it's just the flexibility the ability to deal with multiple types of dangers including creatures planeswalkers at instant speed and the ability to finish a game. Also, it does have a deck mono red burn where the whole principle of the deck is to play this card and then cards similar to it. So if that deck could play 40 lightning bolts, it would play 40 lightning bolts. Lightning bolt, one of the most iconic cards in Magic and definitely the most iconic red card in Magic. 